Heaven's California Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the AS Monaco Career Mode. We are into Season 2 today, and we have got some some things to do. So first of all, we're going to have all expectations this season. Uh, youth development, we still got to do that. Make a 2.55 profit from youth player sales within two seasons. Whether we'll do that or not, I don't know. Brand exposure, we got to get 102 million earnings from shirt sales in a season. Financial, we've got to still grow the club worth by 50% or 80% there. We've still got two seasons left, so that should be okay. Domestic success, we got to win the league title, reach the final of the Coupe Nationale, and reach the semi-final of the Champions Cup. Our transfer budget isn't much. Uh, we're on 26 million, if we have it at the right way. Um, well, we might not actually need that much wages. I mean, we could bump that up to 30 million. Uh, we do that. There we go. That's probably about ish right. So we're not gonna have much money for signings. Now, if we have a look at our squad, there's a couple of things that I would like to do. So we got Lamar there. We got Mbappe. The front three, that's fine. The two midfielders, obviously Bakayoko. He does want to potentially leave the club, so we're gonna have to see what that does. Um, what that uh leads into. But um, Fabinho, he's fine to stay. We are. This is a position that we have highlighted. We need a new player. We do need Maltinho. Uh, he probably be he'll probably be dropping back into the subs. The back four, possibly okay as well. If we can just get that new attack midfielder, possibly a new left back as well. But Mendy's not doing too badly for himself. I mean, they're, for their size, for the size of these uh, people, we got six foot one, and he's six foot. They're actually pretty quick, which is why they've played pretty well this season. Still got some man on last season. Uh, Falcao, probably a player that I'm looking to get rid of. Uh, Basilia can stay, it's maximum stay. Uh, De Sanctis, again, probably get him out of the, the books. Maybe even Daira, he's now 31. We'll have to see how things go. I mean, all these. I mean, Korea, we haven't actually used him. So are we ever going to need him? Probably. I mean, we've got quite a few players here actually that we could put in for him. I mean, we got this guy here. He's definitely not going to be playing, even though he is like six foot eight. We got Gene here. Gene, you see that he's seventy five overall, so he can be our replacement for Daira. So we're going to have a look and uh, see what kind of transfers, what our transfer list is going to be looking like. So, uh, Bakoko refused the contract. Um, we'll try offering that, we're going to try offering the contract again because, uh, well, there's no reason why we, sh we I want to try and keep him. But, you know, you can't go against his wishes. If he wishes to leave, then... We can't really do too much about that. So here he is. Uh, let's try offering him that. See, if we give him 70,000, that's a lot of our wages gone. We're going to try giving him 55. We'll try 55 at a crucial first team. 20% bonus per goal. We'll see what that does. Um, now, in terms of attacking with Fielders, I'm going to have a quick look on SoFIFA, have a look who's going to be in my budget, and then I'll come back to you and we'll see what we can do. Okay then, so I believe I put everyone that I've found in the shortlist. So we've got Alan Halilovic, we've got Kovalenko, Marco Rog, Francisco Giraldez, Giovanni Lo Celso, Abdelhal, Abdel Nuri, Luis Alberto and Bart Ramsellar. We'll uh, get all them back and then uh, all the scout reports and we'll see what we can uh, do with them. But we're going to be looking at what players we can be looking to get rid of. So we've got Bad Chile, um, Chanka Potential. He can most likely stay. Um, we've got this guy, Gilles Baldry. He can go for a one-year loan. And we have the Sanctis who we can probably add to the transfer list, see if anyone will buy him. Then for centre-backs, we haven't got too much here. We've got 
Uh, Almeida, we've got Diallo, Glick, Jemison, and Kimpembe. I feel someone's left. Actually, no, we did just play with four last season. We had Jemison, Glick, Diallo, and Kimpembe. Yeah, so that's all right. We got Ekishile, we got Jorge, and we got Mendy. Again, Ekishile isn't someone we really want to be keeping hold of, but we might as well. Why not? Uh, we got Roche, we got Sadibe, and we have Torre there. Uh, Roche, again, we're not looking to use him this season, so he can go on a one year loan. Uh, we got Antonucci, he's still out on loan. He's for loan, and Biag. Bon Giovanni, he's still ready. Uh, he's going to be going out on loan again, probably. Um, Milo, he can go for a one-year loan. Uh, we got Bakayoko there, obviously. Doran Thyme, Bennett El Yesa. So we got a couple of players here that we're probably not going to need to hold on to. Um, okay, so he's on loan and he's on loan. Both of them. So. Um, we can't do anything with them just yet. We got Alfand, we got Corbe, we got Mexique. And we have this guy. We have Traore here, uh, Adama Traore. I'm not sure how good he's going to be. I'd have to look it up, but I'm sure he can stay. He can definitely stay. We got Mura Nikita, we got Moutinho. I think this guy can probably leave. I don't think we'll be needing him because we have Mexique as well. Although Mexique's. Hmm. Bear me one second, I'm gonna have a look at some of something. Okay, so out of both of them, I'd say Mexique is the one we wanna be adding to the transfer list there. Um, if these two come back, then that's chill because I haven't looked at their potential here. Who's that? That is Andoram and Thea. So Andoram. Hang on, Thea Lundoran. Okay, Thea's got a potential of 78. And Thea has a potential. Okay, he's not there. That's strange, Thea. Oh, there he is, he has potential of 78. Oh no, we're looking for Andoram, aren't we? You're looking for a Doram and he's. He's not there. I don't know why he's. Theme and Doram. Kevin. Oh, there he is. He's got a potential 78. Okay, they both got potentials of 78, so uh, them two will do. So if they come back from loan, I'm not sure when his loan finishes. Um, they both come back. we still got Bennett El Yesa. We probably don't need Alphans. Um, no, he's one of our youth players, so he can def he's can he got potential to be special as well, so he can definitely go on the loan list. Um, loan, 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 loan. Troy can stay, so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So we've got Le Mans and Maximum covering that left-hand side. Uh, we've also got some of these guys. We've got Tirad, who's come back. Also got Diaz, Jill Diaz. Now, Jill Diaz has got a potential of 86. So we can definitely go ahead and sell Nabil Dira. Um, because Lopez and Dira, Lopez and um, Diaz, sorry. Both have good potentials. Now, we definitely... Tyrod. Um, so we've got Diaz and Lopez. They can both play on both sides of the pitch, I believe. Um, actually, no. Lopez can't. Lopez can't. Uh, Diaz, Diaz can. He can play on both sides, so he's quite universal. Meaning we may or not have a chance to play Coradine Tirad. Now, Granton Tirad has got a potential of 75. He's at 65 at the moment, so I don't think we're going to be using him so he can go on the transfer list. We've also got this guy, Mills, um, David Mills. 
Again, I'm not too sure what his potential is. 74, yeah, so we'll add him to the transfer list. We definitely won't be needing him. Now we have an in excess of strikers here. Ideally, we're going to keep Germain and Mbappé. Maybe even one more. So, um, out of all of these, Falcao, definitely we can add him to the transfer list because we're not going to be using him anymore. He's too slow and he's just taking up too much space in the team. So we've got Chibi. Now, um... 77 potential. Um, we've got Traore, 76 potential, but he's quite old, so Traore can go on the transfer list. Means we've got Ngatu. He's got a potential of 70, so I could probably get away with adding him to the transfer list as well. We're not going to be using him. Now we have a difference between Chibi. Whatever Chibi is, uh, yeah, 77. Or we have Carrillo, uh, wherever he is, he's going to be on here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 there he is, 79. So I think we'll keep Carrillo and we'll get rid of Chibi. Just try and get some of these players off the books. I Meaning we have quite a few players here up for transfer. If we switch this round. We'll go to the top here. I think this should start showing what we've got. Yeah, so we've got quite a few players on the transfer list. Um, from these players, we could probably get about 20, 30 million from selling all them, which would definitely help when trying to attract probably another goalkeeper. But um, we're going to have to do some training as well. This could be quite long-winded, this one, because, well, we've got a lot of things to be doing. So uh, we've got to be thinking who's still going to be in our team next season. So Maxman would definitely still be in our team, so he can go on a drill there. Apparently Mbappe's still promising, so we'll give him... I had him on headers and volleys, actually, to try and get them heading, heading set up. Yes. Then you got to be thinking, do we start giving things to Jean and Dia Diaz? Because we've got Bichilia, obviously, he can go on a training course. Um, we'll give him on Beatty Man or something. We have two more left. Um, do we put Kim the Pimp on something? We might put Diallo on one because Diallo is quite low rated and he has got to go in that second team. And then you've got to be thinking maybe Mendy because he's got quite a decent potential as well. So we'll do them for training this time around. And um, yeah, we're going to have to start going through the season, seeing what we can drum up business wise. And I'll let you know if anything happens. So we can also get some extra money from completing one of these. Now, they're both full stars. Um, that one's got Bayern, Man United, Atletico. That one's got Arsenal, Juve and Dortmund. And that one's got Real. That one doesn't have such bigger teams. I think we'll go for the uh, American Challenge Cup. Oh, we're recording. Everyone. That can get us... Uh, that can definitely get us some extra cash there. So we got some players coming back from them. We got Thiam, he's back from Lome. Viag Gavani, uh, Antonucci, and Doram. So that does mean I can have a little more look on what we are. Do we need to send the, one of these out on loan again? So we're going to be looking at. Uh, okay, so Antonucci and Viag Gavani definitely can go back on loan. We're definitely not going to be using them. Um, so they can definitely get back on a one-year loan. We've still got Bichilia and we need another attacking midfielder as well. Now, if we keep back Oko and Fabinho, we've got Ndoram Thyme. I think we'll keep them both in the books because I don't know what's going to happen yet. So we'll keep them both in the books for uh, this season. And uh, yeah, we have got the pre-season tournament coming up, which will be a good opportunity for us to get some more money. So bad, so bad, so bad, Okay, we got a transfer for Corbet. Um, well, we can accept that. He's going to be going off to Shamoy FC for this season. Maybe he can get up some overall. Possibly make a push for that sec uh, team in the last season. 
As I said, we're going to be doing three seasons this time around. Uh, Bakayoko. Like, he won't be signing it. He doesn't know what's happening with... I don't know what's happening with Bakayoko. We're going to have to keep our options open. Because we don't know if Bakayoko is going to be leaving or not. Martinho can play there. Ideally, I'd like him not to be able to play there. But if he has to play there, then he has to go there. Side 3 0 in there over DC United. Mbappe, Bako, Oko, and Glick picking up the goals for that match. So transfer for here for Falcao from Arsenal. Uh, they want the 31 year old. We're going to try and bump this price up. Um, we're going to value him at. We can try 20. Um, it's always good to push him. I mean, I'm sure we'll have other chance offers for him. Falcao's happy to stay. Kimpembe's uh, unhappy that he didn't start, but. Again, it's only pre-season, mate. There's nothing to be to get upset about. So we have an offer here from Chelsea for Bakayoko. Um, so this is awkward for me because I don't know whether or not we're going to have to sell him. Um, we'll keep it there for now. And we'll see if the board tell us we need to sell him. We're not selling Bichilia, so they can screw off with that. But I don't know about Bakayoko. Um, I think we'll keep it there for now. Because we don't know what's going on. We have Everton next. Um, next game. Okay, Arsenal think that that's too much for uh Falcao, it probably was a bit too much, but you know, you have to push the boat out sometimes and push that transfer. We get two all there with Everton, that's all right. Bappe and Martinho picking up the goals there. Um, we've got some more training. Hopefully, we're gonna get them transfer uh, squad player report back on them attacking midfielders so he can uh. Start preparing, because that will be a big help for us this season if we have a proper attack midfield. Now we now have one for Lucina Triora. Malaga want Lucina Triora. Um, he's a bit old, so we'll ask for his value. I'm gonna definitely ask for his value. Um, see if they'll match that. Maybe I should have done that with Falcao, but doesn't really matter. We're still gonna keep that in there at back Ioko, because. I don't know if he wants to leave the club or not. But however, I don't want the board just selling him. Because that wouldn't be very nice to deal with. Because then we'd have to... We'd, we'd, we'd make do, because we have Martinho there, and he's a solid midfielder, but... Uh, we get 3-1 there over uh, Real Madrid, but they're not going to be playing their top team in pre-season. Which means we'll get a bit more cash. Um, so we got one back for... we got something here for Cedric Alfand. Uh, Yeovil Town. Okay, they can have Cedric Alfand. Uh, he's looking alright there. Still got the back Oak offer. And we still have the Lucina Triora offer. Um, player loaned out. That's cool. So they're only wanting 4.9. We want him off the book. So we'll take the 4.9 million. He's eating up quite a bit of our wages as well. I think he was on like 30, 40,000 a week. And we're not going to be using him, so... And we got that for Victor Kovalenko as well. Um, he's 77 overall. But we'll, uh, we'll keep them all on the short list. Because <clears throat> we don't know what's going to be going on just yet with the uh, whole Bakayoko situation. Is Bakayoko going to go? Is he going to stay? I don't know. Maybe we should just risk it and say, you know what, you're not having back Oko. But 
I don't want him to just leave the club. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, we'll get another game in here against Villarreal with the first team. Obviously, there's 10 million what you can get from winning. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, we lost on penalties and Mendy got an injury. Can't believe this game sometimes. Uh, what's the injury? So that is... Oh, my God. He's out for six weeks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, da, 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 player sold. Okay, that's Chiro. I mean, another alpha for Bakayoko. Uh, Everton won him for 21 million. <sighs> what do we do? Do we counter it and try and get as much money as we can for him? Like, say, like 30 million? We'll counter it. Because we know he's not necessarily happy. And I don't want the board to sell him for a stupid amount. Because I'm Manchester United fan and I know when players are going to be leaving and shit. And I go, oh, they're not going to leave. It's fine. And then they leave and the board sells them for a stupid amount of money. I actually don't know what to put him on right now. Uh, maybe chance creation. Yeah, I don't want them selling him for silly money like 10 million or something. Because I've had that with the hair and they sold him for like, to like Malaga or something stupid for 20 million. I don't want that happening in Bakayoko selling him for like 10 million. We need something. If he is going to leave, we need something to uh, to help us buy something back for him. Off for Fabinho here from Dortmund. They can screw off with that one. We're not selling. We're not getting rid of both of our friggin' midfielders. Come on now. I don't want to really get rid of this one, but looks like we're being pressured into it. So they're going to offer us 25 million. We have got an offer from Mbappe from Dortmund. Uh, again, we're simply going to reject that because he's too good. We can't lose him. Uh, Everton have gone for a 25.5 million. Um, I don't know. So we have all these back. we got Rog, we got Geraldes, uh, Ramsella, Celso, Alberto. Nuri and Halilovic, but he's still on loan. I don't know what to do at back. Okay, guys, I really don't know what to do. Do we try and offer him another deal? I mean, he's probably not going to accept it because he really doesn't want to play. Um, here he is. Do we try another one? Do we try another 50.5 million? We'll try for another one. If he doesn't accept it, then we probably will be accepting that Everton offer. Um, City just signed Casemiro for that much money. That's a bit silly. Um, not to bother his player, new contracts, they will be looking... So I'm regardless of the terms, this can only mean they'll be looking to engineer a move away from the club. So we need to be prepared for that eventually. So we'll, I think we'll reject that from Everton. Because I think he's worth a bit more than 25.5 million. Um, so we keep back okay for now. But um, <clears throat> as we know, people can be odd. One day might have him, one day he might just be gone. So we'll have to be prepared for that. We have got all the reports back on the attack midfielders. So we can start to uh, have a look for what we have going for us. So, uh, let's see. We have got shortlist. Shortlist is paired. Okay, so we've got Halilovic. She's still on loan. Highest overall. Kovalenko. Um, I think Celso would be quite a nice player to get. Uh, he's a little bit too old. And he's slow as well, so we can remove him from shortlist. We've got Bert Ramsella. Um, so so isn't the quickest either, though. Kovalenko doesn't look bad, like, mentally. And they're all worth about that 10 million mark, apart from Halilovic. Um, 
Do we wait and see if Halilovic comes back? I don't think we can. Halilovic is on loan, so he's gone. So that's the team. Rob, Geraldes, Celso, Nuri and Ramsella. So what I'm going to do is put a 10 million bid in for all of them. See what ones come back. And then we'll have a decision from there. Okay, we get a chance for here for Gakko to Gakutu. Uh, he can definitely go because we just don't need him anymore. And then we have one for Glick. And we're not looking to sell Glick this season, so we will be disallowing anyone to buy Glick this season. So a couple of them coming back then. Um, PSV unacceptable, 19 million. Uh, we've got Sporting coming back, 16.5, and they want 18.5 million. Nuri, Real Madrid, so far the only team that have said, look, you might be able to have him. Uh, Paris as well for the low Celso. Uh, we've got an offer here for Antonucci. He can go on loan to Gaz Achesio. Um Because we're just not going to be needing him, but... Two there. Lo Celso has a good overall, a uh, good potential. I know that thing's high 80s. So uh, that'll be good. Liverpool, unacceptable. I believe that's all of them, right? Um, so, Germain here. They, Valencia thinking they want Germain. No, we're not looking to sell Germain this season either. So, out of these two, I think I will go ahead and try and pursue. We'll keep Nuri's one open, but I'm going to try and pursue... Lo Celso here, he wants 50,000 a week, that's fine. Uh, we'll give him a 10% bonus per goal, four years, and an important first team player. He's going to grow, um, we're going to have to put him on training though, for a little while, to try and get him up to standard with the team. But I don't think that's a bad signing, I think that's a good one. We've grown the club, um, our branch of rating's going down, because we're not actually doing anything. But Celso here, we have made the purchase of Celso. Meaning we could possibly, we're going to have money left over. Um, he's going to go straight into the first team. Sorry, Martinho, but you will be getting dropped, unfortunately. we got a friggin' big team here. A lot of youth players. Um, a lot of crappy players just lying about that we're not really needing. But I think this will do for now. I'm not really sure who I'm going to take out. Because you have Bichelia as well. Does that mean Bichelia now has to drop? Actually, no, we dropped Pabcal because he's not actually in the team. I mean, we don't expect him to be in the team. Hopefully, I didn't fuck that Arsenal thing up. So, if that's signing out of the way, we may be looking to get another secondary goalkeeper now. Um, that was our second transfer we needed. We got quite a bit of money. Now, I'm thinking, is there a French goalkeeper that we could get here that would fit into this team for next season? Um, there's only one place to look, I suppose, and that is Sophie yeah. first. So bear with me, and we'll uh, have a few young goalkeepers lined up that we may be able to sign. Okay, so I have identified the two players I would like to ideally get. Either Alban Lafont or Alphonse Ariola. They've both been scouted, and uh, they should be our final signing of the season. Uh, we've got some more player development here. We are going to have to take out some people, probably... If we take out silver, maybe? Or do we leave silver? We'll try and get silver up to that 86. Because um, he's decent at finishing already. He's decent at what he does. Um, maybe some maximum as well we could take out. Because Bichelia... I mean, we don't technically need Mbappe on any training at all, but... It just seems right that we would have him on some. So we have got our update back for Alban Lafont. Um, 78 rated. If I was to buy him, he's a crucial first team player at Toulouse. Um, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you about the goalkeeper, but one more day and then we are up to our final game. Not final game, first game of the season. Uh, Sadibe wants more wages, so we'll do that and we'll end up. So uh, Sadibe, we're going to find him. We've got a couple of teams playing their games already. 
It looks like Bakayoko may be willing to stay, which is great news. Um, where is Sadibe? Have we got any contracts running out this year? Yeah, uh, Falcao and De Sanctis. Players that we ideally would like to move on anyway. Um, who are we looking for? We're looking for... Uh, where is he? Here, he's got three months on his contract, that's cool. He doesn't want any more, but I don't see why he'd need any more really. He's pretty much got four years on it. We give him 5% clean sheet bonus, keep him on important for his team. That should keep him happy for another year or so. so hopefully you guys all enjoyed if you did. And smash the like button, comment, subscribe and share as well. All down below. It's all down below. Just do it down below. It's going to take you a couple of minutes at the most. Any more players you want me to sign, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode where we are going to start off our season. Goodbye.